What's up, YouTube fragrance family and friends? Tommy with Studio Sense here, bringing you yet another review of a brand new 2021 release. This one is a flanker of one that was released earlier last year. It is Match Point by Lacoste. It is a sport fragrance, and the flanker we're referring to is the Eau de Parfum version of Match Point. Now, this is purported to be a true eau de parfum, meaning it's going to match the formula and maybe just go a bit further or be a bit more refined as an eau de parfum should be. So, when we come back, we're going to take a closer look at this new release, that and more. So, stay tuned. Welcome back everyone and thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's review of a brand new release from Lacoste. Now if you were around when Lacoste Match Point was originally released and you ran out and picked it up because you're a lover of all things sports or you just really like the Lacoste line of fragrances, you sprayed it on or sprayed it in the air and smelled it and you were like, oh man, that's some really nice green, soapy, almost like Irish spring green soapy clean smell and then two or three hours later you were like where did it go and that's sometimes the case for sport fragrances they're really kind of shower gel type fragrances that are great for hopping in the shower and showering and spraying on as soon as you get done with the workout or you've had an active tennis match you know because that's what this is all about match point but the longevity of some edts or eau de toilettes leave a little bit to be desired hopefully that's made up for in the eau de parfum version of match point so before we go any further in talking about the notes and the note breakdown let's take a closer look at that presentation If you've ever played tennis or handled a tennis racket, the handle itself has this foam around it with little divots to make grip better. That's actually the same design that's embedded into the box. And so you can't really see it unless you look at it in a certain light, but it just adds a little bit of a personalized flair. The box has kind of a thematic color scheme with dark green and black with a silver line bisecting it in the middle and match point being in silver as well. As mentioned, it's an eau de parfum concentration and a 100 ml bottle. The top part of the box has that divot texture and the bottom half is just smooth smooth. On the sides, there's nothing. It's just bisected by that silver line. The back, the top has the divot texture and the bottom is smooth with the ingredients listing distribution information. The bottom of the box has a QR code along with the UPC and the sticker information as well. And that's pretty much it for the box. Now the bottle, I really like these bottles. They're, they're very cool looking. The bottle is basically exactly the same, but there's actually a gradient in this in dark green to clear on the Eau de Parfum. And the only thing that's colorized in the Eau de Toilette is the juice. The juice is just a kind of a light lime green color. On the Eau de Parfum, the label is black with silver lettering. And on the Eau de Toilette, the label is white with black lettering. So that's the biggest difference there. Otherwise, match point looks exactly the same. The lid is mimicking the handle of a tennis racket and so that is also exactly the same in the Eau de Parfum. The bottom of the Eau de Parfum bottle is exactly the same as the bottom of the Eau de Toilette and I never did figure out what that's indicating. It looks like maybe something signifying tennis or having something to do with that activity. I don't really know but it's just cut out quite a bit. It almost looks like a tennis ball in action, like flying through the air or something. Maybe that's what that is, I'm not sure. But what about the notes in Match Point? Is it exactly the same? Well, I knew that it was a true eau de parfum simply by looking at the formula, but let's talk a little bit about that note breakdown. Lacoste Match Point Eau de Parfum features top notes of lemon, grapefruit, and pink pepper with heart notes of lavender, cardamom, 
and Gentian Absolute, resting on a base of Haitian vetiver, patchouli, cypriol, and cashmere. Now it's interesting that Sophie Labbe was the perfumer for Match Point, the Eau de Toilette, and Jean-Christophe Harreau is actually the perfumer of the Eau de Parfum version. Not sure why they switched hands there, but I'm interested. Looking over that formula, it is a little bit denser and darker looking. Note for note, it's pretty much got all the same components, but more. There's the addition of grapefruit in the open, so hopefully more juicy and citrusy. There's the addition of cardamom and lavender in the heart. So it's gonna be creamy sweet along with some more spice. And in the base, we've got patchouli and cypriol in addition to the other notes that were originally in the Eau de Toilette, which were, you know, vetiver and cashmere. So interesting choice of notes. Let's check out the juice and see what the difference is in the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum. So the atomizer pump looks exactly the same as the Eau de Toilette. It's just silver, basic silver. And it's actually a pretty good atomizer. It sprays out a really good amount of juice and it does so very easily measured. So it's a good quality atomizer. Okay, so this is definitely a true Eau de Parfum. There is a notable difference though. So the Eau de Toilette was a little bit sharper and less pungent. This is a bit more bitter and more pungent. Now what that says, especially this early on in the open, because I'm literally just smelling it off a tester strip, is that says more of those really good quality ingredients that just says more of those heavy oils and uh, more of those fragrant notes. So we just have to wait for that to dry down a little bit and open up. It dries down as it were and dries up in many cases. And that was the, uh, that was the case with match point in some, in some cases, I, I don't really have much to complain about because it always lasted pretty decently on my skin. But now we're gonna try skin test, and not really a comparison of the EDT and the EDP, but a little bit of one. On my left hand, I put the EDT. On my right hand, two pumps of the Eau de Parfum. I'll give it just a moment to dry down, give you guys my final thoughts on this. While I can't tell you that, yes, this one lasts a lot longer because this isn't a performance test, that comes later for the full-on review, but I can tell you this smells more like it's trying to be a signature scent than it's trying to be a just a clean soapy shower gel fragrance. It's almost like they're trying to imbibe some characteristics or attributes of a signature scent fragrance, so it's a bit more dressed up. It's not just in deportment and the way that it carries itself, it's in the way that it comes off as well. It's definitely a bit deeper, a bit greener, and a bit drier than the Eau de Toilette. As an Eau de Parfum, it's more weighty, I don't know that the sillage is better. The projection is probably going to be the same as the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Toilette wasn't a projection beast at all. I don't think this is going to be, but I feel like, especially in the heat, because this is one of those heat activated fragrances, that it's going to be even better and it won't slow off in those early hours. So if I had to say what the primary difference between the EDP and the EDT is, number one, this one smells more refined. It smells cleaned up. Um, it smells a bit more, not formal, but a bit more serious, like it's taking itself seriously instead of it being just like an Adidas fragrance. They're just thrown together to smell decently good and is trying to mimic a shower gel or actually mimic Axe or a soap. It smells like it's trying to do its own thing and it smells like it's going to have a little bit better performance. Won't know that for sure until I you know, put it through its paces and try it out and I'll, I'll let you guys know for sure what the performance is like. If you smelled the Eau de Toilette and were like, you know what, I like it, but I'm not gonna foot for it. You might wanna think about changing your mind with the Eau de Parfum. At least give it a try, test it out. I certainly don't recommend going out and purchasing Match Point at the going rate now. This is definitely one of those, as are most, sorry Lacoste, but as are most Lacoste fragrances, with the notable exception of some of the L1212 or L1212 liner fragrances, this is one of those that you want to wait until it hits discounters before you go spending some money. Well guys, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's unboxing and first impressions of Lacoste Match Point. Again, it's a nice, fresh, shower gel, clean, athletic fragrance, but it's not going to be something you want to go out of your way to pick up until it hits discounters. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel today. And again, thank you so much for your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.